Vladimir Putin listed five EU countries he could invade, troops there in two days. Putin once listed countries he could invade, including five EU countries. Another Russian general has died in Ukraine as the Kremlin's forces struggle to make progress. Lieutenant General Yarkov Rezintsev is the seventh general Ukraine claims to have killed since Russia invaded. Oleksiy Arestovich said Rezintsev died amid intense fighting at Chornobyvka airfield, a site near Kherson which Russian forces have been using as a command post. In a call posted on social media by the army, a Russian soldier is heard complaining to his superior, here, Rezintsev is in charge. We only met him once since we arrived here. It was the fourth day and you know what he said. Get this, it's no secret that this operation is going to be over in mere hours. Putin sent his troops into Ukraine a month ago, and the military action has sparked fears in other parts of Europe. Russia has sent threats to other countries in recent weeks, but not for the first time. In September 2014, Putin privately warned Poland, Romania and the Baltic states about Russia's military strength. These countries are all part of the EU, the bloc that Ukraine was also looking to join at the time. According to German newspaper Suddeutsche Zeitung, Putin allegedly told then-Ukraine President Petro Poroshenko. If I wanted, in two days I could have Russian troops not only in Kyiv but also in Riga, Vilnius, Tallinn, Warsaw and Bucharest. The statement, if made in these terms, represented the first time Putin had discussed the idea of having Russian troops in an EU or NATO member state. European Commission Vice President Valdis Dombrovskis told Politico earlier this month that Putin is likely to ramp up his military ambitions and challenge NATO in the Baltic Sea countries of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia if he wins in Ukraine. He said, if we do not support Ukraine, it's not going to stop in Ukraine. Clearly, Putin is now in some kind of aggressive war mood and unfortunately, it is likely that this aggression will continue in other countries. Asked whether he was particularly worried about Moldova, he identified the Baltic countries as a concern.